listening? Yes. Yes. And so if you think about it, every morning you kind of get this new bank of calories that you need to spend. And how many of you have ever gone out to the store and you buy something and you want to get the most you can for your money, right? How many of you have ever had that feeling? Okay. Well, if you think about calories as being kind of a bank you start with in the morning, everybody needs a certain amount. So you want to get as many nutrients from those foods that you eat in order to keep your body healthy. And that is a concept called nutrient density. Fruits and vegetables, you can see we've got lots of great fruits and vegetables here. They give people lots of nutrients for the amount of calories that they offer. So if something is very nutrient dense, it means that the person is not spending many calories on it, but they are getting lots of nutrients. Does that make sense? So when you are picking snacks, boys and girls, how many of you think, wow, I only have so many calories for today, I want to get all the good stuff I can, all those nutrients. How many of you think that way? Well, if you don't, you might want to start. I have two foods. How about if you choose two volunteers for me? We're just going to do one person at a time. All right, Joseph and uh, Andy. Okay, and you can probably stand right in the back. I'm going to have the gentleman do this first. What I want you to do, sir, is I'm going to hold up two foods. And when you can tell me which one is the nutrient-dense one that has more nutrients per calories, I would like you to just tell me which one it is. I have a can of Mountain Dew and a glass of milk. Yeah, he says the glass of milk is more nutrient-dense. Raise your thumb if you think he's right, guys. Good job. It is, of course, 